Hi everyone, welcome to Nomsi Kitchen. Today we're making this saucy and savory teriyaki salmon using only two ingredients from Costco. The salmon I'm using is Costco's Fresh Atlantic Salmon Filet Farm Raised. It comes as one whole filet and I cut two pieces from it, each weighing about 130 grams or measuring 5 inches by 2 inches in size. The second ingredient from Costco that you'll need is Bachan's Original Japanese Barbecue Sauce. This sauce can be used to make many things. I like to use it to make dishes like teriyaki salmon and teriyaki chicken. The reason why this sauce can be used in teriyaki recipes is because it contains many of the same ingredients used in teriyaki sauce, such as soy sauce, ginger, sugar, mirin, vinegar, and garlic. Now let's get started. Place the two salmon fillets in a large bowl. Pour a quarter cup of Bachan's original Japanese barbecue sauce. Use your hands to flip the fillets and coat them with the sauce. Flip them several times to help the salmon absorb some of the sauce. You should have some sauce left in the bowl to make the glaze at the end. Preheat your pan on medium-high heat for one minute. Turn the heat down to medium and add in enough oil to coat the pan in a thin layer. Use tongs and a spatula to help you place the salmon into the pan. Cook the first side for two minutes. After two minutes, use tongs and a spatula to help you flip the salmon onto the other side. And cook the other side for two minutes as well. After two minutes, the salmon is done and you can take it out of the pan. For a fancier presentation, you can stack them like this. Now it's time to make the teriyaki sauce glaze. Preheat a small pan on medium-high heat for one minute. Then turn the heat down to medium and pour in the remaining sauce left from marinating the salmon. As the edges start to bubble, use a spatula to stir the sauce so that it doesn't stick to the pan as it reduces. After one minute, the whole thing should be bubbly. At this point, stir continuously for one more minute and the sauce should be thickened. Push the sauce to one side of the pan and directly pour it onto the salmon. And there you have it, teriyaki salmon made with only two ingredients from Costco. I hope you enjoyed this super simple teriyaki salmon recipe. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time!